Hello and welcome to my favourite year, uh, Thief 2 20th Anniversary Contest Mission by Morendrum. Now this doesn't have a uh, briefing video so I will do my usual and read it out. I've been contacted by a client who's tasked me with retrieving a sample of special wine from a nobleman by the name of Bernard Serendelli. I've tracked down Bernard to his residence in Eastern Wayside. Even though he's in the wine business, it seems he's re renovated part of this property to be a warehouse storage complex. No doubt an effort to make a little extra cash to fill his fat pockets. After softening up a member of his staff while at a nearby tavern, I've managed to figure out that the wine is most likely held somewhere in his private office, said to be in the basement. No one's allowed in or out without his express permission, and he's got guards stationed on the premises around the clock. Just what is going on down there? I've managed to find some underground service tunnels that lead right under the warehouse grounds. I'll use them and the rain tonight to slip inside past the guards, then get my wine and get out of there. Should be easy enough. But if not, then at least there's lots of storage rooms to fill my pockets and make it worthwhile. Let's begin. Uh, find and steal a bottle of special reserve wine. It's probably stashed somewhere safe in Serendelli's manor. Steal in this private basement, a uh, private office in the basement. Steal at least three thousand worth of valuables. No need to be sloppy. Take no innocent lives tonight. Once you're finished here, get back to where you started for a stealthy exit. Oh, there is a bonus mission, a bonus objective on expert. A wealthy man like Serendelli probably has very rich clients. A finder's clientele list for future endeavors. You are a master of your craft. Leave no bodies behind. Unconscious bodies are allowed? Just dead bodies, I hope you mean. Um, you know what? I'm going to go on expert because of the bonus. Because of the extra objective. And uh, hopefully I will not feel a need to kill any guards. Of course, if this means no unconscious bodies, <laughs> I hope it doesn't, uh, then I would probably restart with, but uh, I imagine it's just talking about dead bodies. Let's go steal some wine for the party. Alright, no shop, so uh, check equipment. Seven broadheads, six for water arrows, three moss arrows. Not a single rope arrow, right? There's no climbing to be done. And two flash bombs, luck picks, one healing potion. Alright, what do we got? I guess that's where we came in. But it can't open it, right? We can open it. Hang on. Are we supposed to be coming out on the street, or...? That's surprising me. I just thought it'd be... Okay, you start there and... Uh, um, use these tunnels. I mean, as I say, use the service tunnels in the rain to get in. But... Uh, there's a whole city up there. So why are we trying just this one guy's mansion? Well, I'll go through the tunnels for now. See, uh, see where that gets us. Hello? I think there's a passageway down there. We're going to go clambering on all of that metal. Let's see where else we can go. Anyone dropped any valuables in the water? I don't think so. Sleep upstairs. Mechanist workshop here. Collected sermons of Father Karras. Hymn 42, Blessed Be the Forge. Blessed be the forge which gives shape unto metal and steam unto the boiler. Blessed be the fire of the builder and the forge of Karras. Kick upstairs there, but uh, let's 
check out this. I think this is the same, it's just the same walkway we saw. Yeah. What's on this shelf here? Just various bits and bobs we don't need. Oh, another sewer exit, okay. Oh, I should have checked. Do we have a map? Now we don't. That's a pity. Any mission with the map automatically gets plus 10 points from me. I just like maps. No, I don't actually use the presence or absence of a map in rating missions, but I, I do love maps, and so I do like a mission much more when it's got a map. And you know, that's actually one of the, I think one of the great strengths of Thief's Fiction and its and its approach to maps is that um, you can get away with a very shitty scribble map. You just have to say like, you know, these maps are not made by professional cartographers. They're uh, drawn by thieves and informants and mostly people with no artistic ability at all. So. rough scribble just showing where things are can actually be super effective. I can't read that book. It's just locked. Nope. And he has his uh, portrait of Karis as is required by making this law. Alright. Don't think we're gonna get anything more out of him. So, I guess, we, is there anything on here? No. Could go up there. I'm curious about what's in the water and down here though. Let's go take a swim. I mean, apart from my death from drowning, of course, so. Possible. Oh, somebody else's death. And the guards are unconcerned. Oh yeah, none of these open, do they? Carry on, let's take a breath of air. Hearing footsteps all over, and I can't see them. Oh, hello. Yeah. Okay, so he didn't come this way. I'll we'll have to be prepared for him to come back. That should be easy. There is. There's darkness. Wait, did he come out of that? I could have sworn he came out of this door. Maybe he came out of that one. Is someone there? Ah. Maybe he went into that door. Maybe he's just going around in circles. Yeah. I seem to be servants, not guards. to me if you just just walk the other way yeah okay this is the kitchen 
Me ver. No tengo nada ni. Anything in the sink. Thirty dishes, obviously. Take the food, though. And I once saved my life, but clearly I have no respect. And I take their lives. Ooh, someone was eating off a gold plate. All right, yeah, this goes around in circles. Well, I guess this is probably the house we need to break into. So, the no way upstairs, except the dumb waiter. <laughs> Alrighty, let's take it. timing. I was lucky that he uh, didn't get too spooked. Special reserve wine, 3500 loot, and his clientele list. Exit through the sewers when you're finished. <laughs> now, is he the guy who we want to steal from here? I guess so. I'm curious as to what's out on the city streets. It uh, seems quite surprising. have all that on the streets. Uh, did I miss anything? Yeah, I missed glasses on the table there. They might be valuable. Hard to say. Hello. Yeah, look at this. This whole warehouse. I get the feeling this mission might be... Uh... Who are you talking to? I'll slouch about wherever I want to. I think he saw that I chopped the banners down. What was I saying? Does he keep his wine in the private basement of the uh, warehouses then? Not of his house. Maybe I wasn't paying enough attention during the briefing. All right, well, we'll let him move on. Ah, worthless. And then uh, we'll just pop out that door once it finishes going around. Oh, that's not a door. All right, so let's just go back down to the basement. Maybe that isn't the person we have to steal from. I don't know. Could have gone out the window, but what I'm going to do instead is go to the second, uh, second sewer door that we saw, which was. I forget where. All right, this is where we got by swimming. I have to go back to the other section. All right. 
swim back. the inventor's place, or the mechanist's place. That's a door I can't pick. This is the ladder hub, so the second sewer grade, okay. This is where I was wanting to go, although it feels very safe with this light right here. <sighs> Coming out right in front of the guards, okay. Gas patrolling. All right, we're in the southern end. This looks like a pretty large place. Let's try and be yes, a little methodical to start with. Let's come around to the west. Oh, that's the first sewer grate we started at. Okay. Right, that's the dead end. Big bay door here that. Whoop. And a guard coming. Well, without any rope arrows, I can't get on top of the really big crates, but possibly the small ones. How do they move those things? If you tell me the same way they uh, moved the pyramid stones, I guess that's probably the answer. Oh, at least you're doorway up there. How's the handle? It looks like a real door. Oh, you shouldn't be coming here, mate. Definitely shouldn't be coming all the way down here. I came here to get away from you. Way to make my life difficult. There's no point going there, that's not a door. You're guarding nothing. It's a painted wall. I can't tell these guards anything. Well, you know what? It's dark enough. I don't need to wait for him. Oh, another one. Alright. So much rain, I'm surprised I'm not like going slosh, slosh, slosh as I walk around. Quiet guy. I don't think that opens either. I don't see any door handles. Well, I'm curious about that upstairs door, which had a handle, which surely some of this. Oh, they do it. They do have handles. Alright, more guards. Storage bay too, private. Sugar. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Well, one head. Should be pretty easy to lose them, but uh it was quite a hit I took. Not having any luck with the food health either. 
Well, let's use my hearing potion. So worried about the guards, about not getting seen by the guards behind me, then I run straight into another one. How clever. Alright, they're going to take a while to settle down there. I think I'm going to take another approach to the whole place. Let's try this building over here. It's got an archer on guard. Oh, they're searching over here. Oh, everybody's riled up. Who's this civilian that's searching for me? Didn't even see him. I mean, that would be a good opportunity for a flash bomb and a blackjacking spree, but I'm kind of still hoping to be mostly stealthy. Yeah, they're going to find me if I... That's a problem. Just one move, Tapper, and you're fine. Come out and fight me! Give up already. Go back to where you came from. Oh, not that. You can't hide forever. All right, they're, they're starting to give up now. Otherwise, they'd see me when I tried to cross here, which is a risk. Upstairs. Or we can maybe try and go there. Da, he saw me. God, he was still still quite riled up there. Well, <clears throat> oh dear. More bodies. What is going on here? That's the second corpse I've seen today, and it's not mine. I mean, not my doing. Also, not my corpse. That would be very strange to have stumbled upon your own corpse. Somebody is out here killing people. <coughs> Dear. They're everywhere. Well, that looks like a uh, nice place to go as well. How do I get to that window? Oh, the same ledge. The same ledge goes all the way around. <laughs> a little narrow, but. Uh, Center balance is good enough. Oh, I know this window. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh, that wasn't right. I thought I could make that jump. All right, less less impatience, guy. Less impatience. You will get yourself killed. So here's the argument for why I shouldn't have done expert. Is I take so much fall damage that uh, that's just asking for trouble. All right, let's walk around on this clanky metal ledge. Yeah, sorry, I made a noise. And it's bright. All right, now we're dark in the dark. You hear that? Does 
this actually go anywhere though? Oh, that's a problem. The light from these windows illuminates me here on the ledge and there's an archer who's on alert down below. And I'm not bothered by the swordsman seeing me, but the archer has the ability to kill me from a distance. So I'll wait till, wait till he goes away. Oh my god. This is a long, slow crawl. Really, the people in charge of the city should... Uh, they can't walk on that, it's too slippery. The people in charge of the city should uh, pass a law against metal ledges. Metal flooring of any kind, really. It's just unsanitary and Especially for thieves. And what do we have elected officials for if they won't ban metal flooring? This is a nice fancy house here. Not the one I need to get to. Well, alright, now we're getting around to where I saw an open window before. So hopefully we can. Where's the doorway? It's a doorway. Misremembering. So hopefully we can get inside and start being slightly less useless. Oh, good. Darkness. All right. I feel a little safer now. What have we got here? Nothing. Nothing. Crates. Oh, that's all right. Some terrible art that's worthless. Hello. I was outside hunting for me before. Please go away, I want to try mantling this box. And if it doesn't work, it'll probably make a loud noise and scare you. And you wouldn't want that. He's just gonna get stand in front of the fire. It did work, but there's nothing up here. Leave those lights off. Stairway. Oh, we just get downstairs. All right. Who's making those noises? I don't know what noises you're talking about. These old buildings make too. These old buildings are terrible. He went through there. I think that's down where, uh, near where the guards were all chasing us before. Alright, what have we got here? 
Business outgoing, main office. Damascus filled in, mechanist. To whomever, whomever it should concern, this humble servant of the builder sends you this missive in hopes of solving a very unfortunate and delicate affair which cannot be tolerated any longer. I feel it is my duty and my right to inform you about certain activities my dubious neighbouring leaseholders do to this community. First order of business being this foul-mouthed and unsavoury butcher fellow named Simon Blackheart. As if I've been punished by the builder himself, I find myself in the unlucky situation of being directly connected to his storage room via the ventilation shafts. Contrary to the function of making my room fresh of air and free from nauseous smells, his obscure spices spread a heinous smell throughout my room. I cannot work any longer with those foul aromas which are, at best, a harassment to the old factory organ. Secondly, I must inform you that I suspect this Miss Barlow of practicing pagan rituals after seeing some of her plants. Without any doubt, they are creations of the trickster himself. I insist that all this savagery must stop at once. May my words be heard by an open mind. Friend Vildin. Russell Andrews, Head of Finance. Jesse Serendell, Vice President. Simon Blackheart, Butcher. Juliet Barlow, Herbalist. Bernard Serendelli, President. Ooh. Dear Sir Serendelli, I've heard from many trustful sources that you are a very valuable and honoured business partner. It came to my ears that Miss Corelli wants to sell her property, which is located on the mountainside, south of the city. If you are interested in acquiring this land, we could agree upon a meeting in a week or so at the docks to discuss the details. Kind regards, Jacob Butler. Right now I would go deeper into the office, but I don't know when this guy's coming back. Hmm, thought I saw something. <laughs> he says as he was just about to go regardless. Mm, odd. Just as he comes. <laughs> Man, I have the worst sense of timing. Don't come here, don't make me... Good, good. Save yourself a headache. Hmm, odd. Oh, you saw the uh, top-down banner. There's a light switch there I could have turned off. That would have... You know, that would have been sensible. See? Problem solved. All that, take those. <clears throat> Last week's profits were questionable. I have to check out the businesses in Aldale soon. Finally got the clientele list from Mr. Serendelli. Gonna put that in my safe. Glad I hired Carl's locks and safekeepers. Good place to store valuable stuff like that. Reminder, gotta clean up the shelf. Hopefully I can invoice that on the company. The shelf you had to clean up. <laughs> right, the clientele list which we need is in this fellow's safe, but where is it? Hiding behind a picture, maybe. This feels like his office. Aha! Hiding behind a picture, indeed. Good place to keep stuff like that, huh? That'll come in useful later. Well, let's make sure he doesn't suspect a thing. Ah, uh, it's Russell Andrews, head of finance. Not for much longer, I think. Alright, we have our first objective complete. Find and acquire Seven Daily's clientele list. There. Maybe behind those smaller crates. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start cleaning up some of these guards. There's far too many of them. And they're two in my face. Let's make the warehouse a better place for everyone. Well, thieves at least. Come on, go. Got up there before, what's stopping you now? There you are. Yeah. Not enough room to toss a body, apparently. No, oh, nothing up there. Alright, let's uh 
Try not to tread on metal floors. Right, this is the stairway at the bottom of the stairs. Yeah, I thought you'd do that. There's no darkness. It looked dark. It wasn't dark. Yeah, I probably have. This is the problem. <laughs> Sorry, like I. <sighs> Sandbagging. All right. Well, I said I was cleaning up the guards, so you know. There's another one. Oh no, that's a door. Where's the patch of darkness to sit in? That's no darkness. That's darkness. With some handy valuables. Nothing better than a nice patch of darkness for valuables. Hang on. And no nameplate. This looks like a pretty, uh... This is Mr. Serendelli himself. This is a pretty sumptuous, uh, little apartment here. Hey, Bernard, how long do you want to continue like this? I really feel uncomfortable that you are ignoring me all the time. I can't work like this. How am I supposed to do my job with that kind of relationship? Can you at least give me a reason as to what's going on? When you're not in your bedroom, you're hiding in the basement doing builder knows what. Listen, if it's because of Bethany, I'm really sorry about that. Your loving brother, Jesse. Bernard, Bernard Serendelli, I think that was the name. And yeah, if he's not in his bedroom, he's in the basement. This... This wall doesn't add up, right? Blank wall there. Big, sticky outfit. I am highly suspicious of this bookcase. Feels like it's hiding something. on top, that's for sure. See how many switches in his desk? Not that I can see. Or by his bed. <laughs> Apparently not. Well, sometimes a bookcase is just a bookcase. Maybe it's just like a service shaft. Who made that noise? Go back to sleep. Hmm. I guess it was nothing. I said, that? go back to sleep. Really, you should sleep on your bed. It's a lot more comfortable. Sleeping in a chair is going to give you a bad back. <coughs> Sleeping diagonally across the bed is going to give you uh, who knows what. Well, I can slash the banner without fear of waking him now. That sword is not anything. Alright. Let's check out the rest of his little apartment here. Wait, is this the same, the same stairway? Oh, that's the basement. Alright, well we need to go there. Not just yet. First, there's a banner to destroy. Uh, keep a statue to admire. More of this floor of the warehouse to loot. To the entire guard force, be on the lookout for any suspicious people on the premises. Should you find anyone trespassing, do not hesitate to use lethal force. Lord Serendelli. Lord Serendelli now. Alright, so his bedroom is in the south, I guess. D 
Dear Mr. Black Parrot, it has come to my attention that you've been storing barrack legs at room temperature. I require you to relocate these crates or install some temperature regulation machinery from the mechanists as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'll be forced to cancel your contract for the usage of your premises. Respectfully, Bernard Serendelli. There's somebody in there. Oh, there's somebody there too. Maybe they're upstairs then. I did not mean to uh, attack the harp with my sword. It just happened, you know how it is. Hello. Alright. This is an even more sumptuous apartment. to kill. More desks to examine. Another bookshelf to be vaguely suspicious of. And another kitchen to loot. Alright. I guess this is the mansion. It's all weirdly adjacent to the basement. Out uh, to the warehouse. Imagination doth run over much. in the basement area. Uh, warehouse area. I see a nameplate over there as well. I don't think this guy is patrolling. Oh, yes, he is. Ah. Just wandering back and forth, I guess. Realize how hard you're making it for me to kill all these banners. I might have to let some of them survive. <clears throat> Storage bay one, public. Unless, if I'm not mistaken, that door is the one that goes outside to that. Pile of crates underneath the open window that we were at before. Hurry up, man, move on. Turn around. Oh. Yeah, that is the door I thought it was. Somebody's coming down these stairs, I think. Guards everywhere! Hey! Who are you? You won't laugh for long! Bloody hell. Don't think you can hide for long! Oh, I think I can hide for a very long time indeed. 
I'm, I'm an expert. Just there. Where is he? There's way too many girls in here. As soon as I find you, you're dead. Take that! See an unprofessional. He said that as soon as the body disappears in front of his face. Damn, lost him. It's like I'm closing in, Tapper. You talking about me or are you talking about your uh, colleague here? Don't make me come find you. I wish you would come find me. It would it would make this all quicker for all of us. All right, I think cleaning up. There's so many guys around here. I think cleaning them up is the right call. Speaking of guards. <laughs> Die evil banner. Hello, speaking of guards, there's another. <sighs> right, let's not go around that way. Storage bay one, public. Crystals. <laughs> Nothing on the shelf above. Two stories. Right, let's let's go upstairs. More machinery parts. Well, the flash bomb, that's useful, but helpful if I don't get stuck. Hello. Air ducts. Metal air ducts. Hmm. I'll leave it open, I might go that way afterwards. It's just the butchers. Looks like uh, food-related equipment. Oh. oh, I'm going to reload that. I did survive it, but uh, I don't have health to spare oh. to take. Ouch! That's a bad ladder. That's what happens is I walk on to try and walk onto it, but I hit the uh, angle of the roof here just before I hit the ladder, and that means I fall straight down instead of grabbing the ladder. Not, not ideal. If I had health healing to spare, I would be fine, but uh, I don't. I mean, even all that gave me one more hit point. All right, so we can get up there. Should take us west. Let's see where this catwalk goes. I 
this must be the herbalist. Yeah, planet's moving a lot. I can see why you might suspect her of having pagan sympathies. Motel plants are quite suspicious. Fortunately for me, lots of moss grows in, uh, in these places. Where is this? Oh, this is the same bay. All right. No point crossing that beam slowly and tediously just to get to the other side, which I can get to more easily down below. Right, let's look through another hazardous ladder, so let's crouch onto it. Be on the lookout. Yes, yes, yes. More noisy floors. So if any guards come through here, I'll be uh, out of luck. Seems quite enough. Famous last words. Uh. Seems quite enough, he says, and then the guard walks in. See a light switch. Who's making those? It's late, you should be in bed. Basement key, alright. Is this a lot of sarin jelly then? Jonathan, once again brother, it seems you were correct. Expanding into the warehousing business has proven to be quite profitable for us, and might I say, truly a stroke of genius. We've had these empty distilleries sitting around, collecting dust, renovating them and charging some of the city's nobles a hefty price to stock their valuables inside, was a good way to repurpose them. And my word, I was even taken aback by your suggestion of pilfering a few of their goods from under their unsuspecting noses. Quite the devious observation. Truly, you seem to have great wits about you, unlike that snivelling coward Jesse. I think it's time we have a talk about your promotion in the company, as it's long overdue. If possible, please do come by this weekend, and let's chat in my private office. I'll even make a personal bottle of our best wine just for you. I think it's time you get let in on what's really going on here. Bernard. Tell me, Bernard, what is really going on in here. Well, I guess this, if that's presumably a letter to Jonathan, I think this is Jonathan's place. Or is the letter from Bernard that he's writing and hasn't sent yet? So hard to tell. More banners. CB for Bernard. You know what? You two can have an awkward uh, conversation when you wake up. I'm not where the guards out from under my feet. desk. It's a nice uh, 
Into the shortcut. All high priests. These people have a ton of books and a ton of banners. And two tons of guards. I see the downstairs thing. I don't even know what floor I'm on anymore. I'm quite turned about. You, sir. I'm going to sleep. Somewhere. Somewhere out of the way in a dark corner. Here looks good. Alright, where now? Thieves zero. All right. I'll have to try that again, but let's try not walking right into a guard next time. But I think this is a pretty good place to uh, end the episode. So uh, thanks very much for watching, and I hope hopefully we'll see you here for the next episode shortly.